In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to steal. And the two main parts that I'm gonna talk about and focus on are how to set up on the bag and timing. So let's start with how we set up on the bag. So there's two common ways that you can set up on the bag. The first one being, you are gonna be in front of the bag. So for me, I like to have my left foot in front with my right foot on the bag. I just feel I get a better jump that way. Um, and, and when I take my lead off, if I'm not stealing, I don't, or I feel I'm not too far away from the bag. You can have your right foot in front, um, whatever's more comfortable for you. If you feel you get a good jump and you feel when you're taking your lead off, you're not too far away, go ahead and have the right foot in front. The other way would be, you're gonna have your left foot on the corner bag and your right foot is gonna be back. You wanna have your left foot on the outside corner bag opposed to in the middle or on the inside corner because your right foot is gonna be back and you don't want this bag to trip you up when you take off. So you wanna clear that bag and your left foot is gonna be on the outside front corner. It doesn't matter how you set up. For me, I prefer in the front um, I just felt, again, I was a little bit quicker that way, but I see many girls starting with their right foot back. It's all preference. When you're set up on the bag, whether you are in front or you are behind, you want to be in a very strong kind of like runner stance here. You want to make sure your feet aren't too close so your front foot isn't too close to your back foot. You want to be um, in a strong stance so you can push off and go. If I'm in the back, same thing. My right foot is back and I'm in my legs because I want to, when I push off, I want to push off and stay low. What I don't want to do is push off, come up high um, or come standing all the way up. I'm going to lose some speed. So I want to be set up. I'm in my legs and my feet aren't too close. So let's talk about our timing when we want to start our motion and when we want to actually leave the bag. So when the pitcher releases the ball right here is when we are free to leave that bag. However, that does not mean that's when we should start our motion. So what I mean by that, if you're set up on the bag uh, and the pitcher starts to go back in her motion, we want to start to rock with her. And it doesn't mean we're going to go fast. We're just going to go nice and slow, getting in our legs. So by the time she's about right here, we are going to start our forward motion going in that direction. So as she releases or is very close to releasing, I would say about right here is when we want to start to push. And then by the time she releases that ball, my foot is going to be off the bag, regardless if you start in front or if you start in back. What we don't want to do is wait until pitcher actually releases to think, okay, now I'm going to push off and go. That ball is going to be halfway to home by the time you take off and your foot leaves the bag and you're going to be thrown out. So you got to be aggressive with this, kind of anticipate when that pitcher is gonna release the ball. So she goes back, you wanna go back just a bit. When she starts to come forward, and I say she's at her about the top of her motion, you wanna to start to move towards uh, second base, so in this direction. And when she's about right here, your foot, you're gonna push off, your foot's coming off the bag, so by the time she releases, your foot's off, and you can take off for second base. So just a couple tips to become a better base runner and to steal more bases is your leadoffs and your steal should look the exact same. Meaning, when you take your leadoffs, you, you want the whole entire defense to think you are stealing. So that means when you get off this bag, you are going three hard steps. So the catcher thinks you're stealing, the shortstop might be coming over to second a little too soon, the opposing dugout might be yelling going, uh, but it's also gonna confuse them. They're gonna have no idea if you're leading off or if you're stealing. So if you're taking leadoffs like this, they're gonna be like, okay, yeah, she's staying at first base. You wanna sell it so they have no idea if you're leading off or if you are actually stealing and going to second base. So be very aggressive on your leadoff. So my last tip would be when you're stealing, just be very aggressive. And I know I just mentioned it, but it really is gonna determine if you're gonna be safe or if you're gonna be out. So there were many times in college, and I'll be honest, I probably left a half second too soon because I was trying to anticipate when that ball was gonna be leaving the pitcher's hand. In my opinion, I would rather be early than late. More times than not, the umpire did not catch it because it's going so fast. Um, but I will say there were many times, I also had an umpire behind me that would give me a warning and say, hey, you're leaving early. Um, so I knew then I had to be a little bit more conservative and I had to really make sure I was leaving on time. Um, yeah, there were times I was called out um, and I will say my coaches were very mad at me because um, they liked that I was being aggressive. So not saying cheat and leave one to two seconds early, but really try I anticipate when that ball is going to leave the pitcher's hand because it's going to determine if you're going to be safe or if you're going to be out. And this is what it's going to look like full speed.